San Diego Zoo Safari Park Bound. We're getting ready to head to Escondido. Never been there before, but my husband and I are proud zoo season ticket holders. So we are gonna go check out the Safari Park today. We'll bring you along with us and it should be a great day. Okay, so from where we live in the Point Loma Midway area, I'm gonna put this into my maps. The San Diego Zoo Safari Park is let's see, 32 miles, about a 39 minute drive. We're going kind of in the middle of the day. It's um, 1120, probably have some lunch at the park, but it's gonna take us about 40 minutes. So we're gonna get this trip underway. So it was $15 to park. It was $20 for RVs. One day I want to get an RV, by the way. And we are heading in for our first time. It's so pretty. We have arrived at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. And the first thing that I'm upset about is I forgot my fanny pack. I think they have a more designer name to them now, but back in the 80s, we called them fanny packs. And it would have been perfect for our excursion to the zoo. So now I've just like, got all my pockets full. It's not ideal, but still gonna be a great day. Let's go inside. Got our San Diego Zoo season tickets. Annual pass members. Two baby elephants. They're typically about 10,000 pounds, a regular elephant, and 13,000 is our largest elephant. Okay. Our two are around 450 to 500. There's one male and one female. And the follow, babies are 450 pounds? And they follow their mothers everywhere. Oh my God, I'm already dying and I haven't even seen it. <laughs> this is a really pretty map of the safari park. And the gentleman that we just spoke to gave us a lot of intel. He says that everything is walkable, um, except for when we take the tram, we are literally going to be going over the mountain to a totally different area. So we need to get started. Something to note is if you're like us and you live closer to the coast, and maybe the temperature says it's 65 degrees, it is going to be warmer inland. So we're about 35, 40 minutes from home and we've gone north and east, I believe. So it's definitely like 72 degrees, probably five or six degrees warmer. And there's not that cool breeze off the ocean. So come prepared with your layers. Wow. Just say rah. So he was awesome. That was my first San Diego Zoo Safari Park experience, and it was pretty amazing. Next, we are headed to Walkabout Australia, where hopefully we'll catch a glimpse of the kangaroos. And then I'm super excited because after that, we're going to go check out those baby elephants that we heard about.
Okay, we spotted some kangaroos and they're so cute. And even though it's not a hot day at the zoo, it is rather warm. So it looks like they've come to find some shade and to be really cute while they, while they take a little rest. Aside from my fanny pack, which I'm still upset that I forgot to wear, um, another thing that I think would be a great addition to your trip to the safari park would be a pair of binoculars. I looked out on the horizon and thought that I was seeing lions, but it turns out they were camels. So <laughs> definitely you can bring a pair of binoculars to enhance your day. This is absolutely stunning. Look, this looks like what I'm trying to grow at our house. Look at all these cacti. We are on our way to the succulent garden. And I don't think I need to explain to anyone who knows me how excited I am about that. I am a plant addict. So let's go check out the succulent garden. Let's see what it's all about. hardly contain my excitement to see the succulent garden. Oh, look at this. This cactus plant. That is so cool. If you're like me and you love all of the farmers markets in San Diego and every single time you go, you pick up a succulent, because let's be real, like what else can you spend $2 to $5 on that makes you so happy than a plant? So I have all these succulents in my house and I have no idea what they are. So one cool thing is to come to the succulent garden and scope out the names of the plants. Then you can Google them and see if you're taking good care of them. I'm pretty sure though they all thrive in sunlight and maybe some humidity, not too much water. There are so many different species of these succulents. So I'm feeling super healthy today at the zoo. Um, we got our lunch. I am splitting this, but nachos. I got my frozen lemonade. Why every time you go to the zoo or to an amusement park, it seems like you've got to have a frozen lemonade? I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't even want to think about what's in this. It's a lot of walking and I worked out today, so life is all about balance. So, cheers to fake cheese on the nachos and frozen lemonade at the zoo.
We are at Elephant Valley, and so far this is my very favorite part of Safari Park. I was just speaking to one of the volunteers, and she told me so much information. It would be hard to share it all, but a couple of interesting things. First of all, there were two babies born. Um, the one that's right behind me is seven months old next week. And when she was born, she weighed 272 pounds. Now she's like 450, I think. Um, but anyway, and that's the baby and her mom. And there's another baby as well. And she said that um, all the elephants gather around for the birth and they face outward to make sure there are no lions coming. And then the baby is born and they turn around and they take turns. Each elephant goes up one at a time to greet the baby after the mom has spent a little bit of time with the baby. I thought that was sweet. And she said that the um, zookeepers work six hours a day, 365 days a year, shoveling poop. So they clean the elephant's um, areas. Each elephant poops 300 pounds of poop a day. Um, I don't know, those are just some interesting facts that I just learned while I was standing here talking to one of the volunteers. amongst the wild. There's a rhino and giraffe. Okay, so I have got the ticket now. One of the night's volunteers gave me her binoculars. It's almost like water A couple of things that I want to say as we prepare for the end of our day, I would definitely try to come not in the middle of a busy summer day. I think it could get packed in here. There's so many strollers, um, definitely kid friendly, lots of children here, which is amazing, um, but it could get really busy. So I would come when it's not super hot, not super crowded, wear comfortable shoes, ask the volunteers a lot of questions because they are a wealth of knowledge and I'll have more suggestions that I'll um, be able to share with you guys later.